It was a big day for the Siouxland Soup Kitchen, now serving the public on Sundays. I stopped by during the dinner hour to see how things went as they try to meet the growing need of feeding those in need of hot meal. Oh. Heather Skogman and her daughter Avery serve regularly at the soup kitchen, excited to be serving on a Sunday. People need to eat every day, so we're really happy to now be able to serve seven days a week again. It makes me so excited to see everyone smile when they get their food, and I love talking to everyone, and it just makes my it makes me so happy. You want more gravy? Typically during the week, it's about 130 people that we serve, so we're anxious to see who shows up today. We've been trying to get the word out that we're going to be here. Those anxious feelings were met with smiling faces, happy to get some warm food on a cold January afternoon. There are no questions about who can eat. Anyone can get a meal at the soup kitchen. Oh, is it perfectly awesome? It was a good square meal. Phil Hammock just turned 62 and has battled lots of issues in his past that have resulted in him being on the streets. You ever get a door slant closed on you that there's another door that's opening? and that you should never give up. Hammock shares that he has been in and out of shelters for a few years and is grateful for the warm meal. I was so glad. I said, you know what? If they start doing Sundays, I say, well, you know what? I'll show up with bells on my shoes. And those doors are open seven days a week at the soup kitchen. Normally we've been closed on holidays and that's to give our, our staff a break, uh, really. But now we're going to try to open on every holiday. A lot of gratitude, a lot of thank yous, and uh, a lot of God bless yous as well. At the end of the day, they served 54 people and expect that number to grow in the weeks to come. For more information on how to serve or meal prep at the Sulian Soup Kitchen, go to this story on SulianNews.com.